Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Insolvent of Scott Selections here for Monday, October 17th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a very good day. We had two plays to go through in the NFL. So starting off with the Saturday video, gave out the Patriots plus three and minus 120 on bet MGM. Said that I thought they would potentially win the game, and they did. In fact, they won in blowout fashion. Cleveland, not a very good football team, missing Clowney and Ward. The defense was really awful for the entire second half, and New England won handily. And then on top of that, we had the winner in the Sunday video, had Josh Allen over 298 and a half passing yards at minus 120 on bet MGM. Wasn't easy, but he eventually went over and got into the 300s. So a nice 2-0 and sweep in the NFL for plus 1.66 units. Look for another winning day here on Monday. And for today's play of the day, going back to the NFL, looking at Monday Night Football, in a matchup between the Broncos and the Chargers. Yes, I agree. The Broncos should be banned from all primetime games after the two games they had this season, one being against the Niners on Sunday Night Football and the other one on Thursday last week as they had that brutal game against the Colts. But either way, since the Broncos are involved and since both teams are really, really injured, I do like a prop in this one. It's going to be the race to 30 points. Or we're going to take neither team at minus 145 on DraftKings. Time recording of midnight. Eastern times. A couple reasons why I think neither team reaches 30 points in this game. First reason, looking at the Broncos offensively, we know this team has been a train wreck, and that's why a lot of people think that Hackett should be fired either right now or at the end of the season. But the Broncos have scored less than 24 points in every game this season. Meanwhile, the Chargers have really not been good offensively at home. They've been good lately. They had a road game against the Texans and a road game against the Browns where they've fared well, but Houston and Cleveland are two of the worst defenses in the league. And the two home games the Chargers have had, they've really not looked sharp offensively as Los Angeles has scored less than 25 points in each of its first two home games. Big reason why, we know home fans don't exactly exist for the Chargers and a lot of road fans show up in their arena So the point is the Chargers basically have to play a road game at home because nobody goes to their games, and that has kind of hurt them earlier this season. But to go through the main reason why I do like the neither for this prop is because of the injuries to the offensive line. Now, Denver is injured basically everywhere, but the offensive line for both sides are serious concerns. And to go through them in order, the Chargers will be missing Slater and Trainer for this game. They've been ruled out. Pipkins and Lindsey are both questionable. So there is a chance the Chargers could be down several, if not more than half of their starting offensive line for this game. And Denver might be awful offensively, but defensively, the the, uh, Broncos have a very good pass rush led by Chubb. And I do think that Herbert will have a hard time of really generating much time in the pocket. Meanwhile, looking at Denver's offensive line, Bowles and Compton are out. Reisner and Turner are questionable. So both teams really could be missing about half of their offensive lines. And I do think you'll end up seeing... Both teams really have to settle for a lot of short passes underneath because they won't have time to actually get deep uh, routes developing since they won't have much time to actually throw the ball. But to go through Denver's defensive numbers, uh, they've been very good at pressuring the quarterback and very good against the pass. Denver ranks tied for fourth in the league in sack percentage, and they also are allowing the fewest passing yards per game in the entire league. So I think that even though Herbert is, of course, a very talented quarterback, and we know he has good arm strength, Keenan Allen's still out, Guyton's going to be out, and Mike Williams is really the only receiver worth a damn on the entire team. They have Sertan, who's going to be matched up on him, and Williams is mostly a boomer bust receiver because he's such a big deep threat. But I do think I think that Denver's going to do a good job of containing him, and they don't really have many other weapons in the passing game. So I think that the Chargers might be kept more in check than people think. And Denver, offensively, they're a train wreck. We already know this, and I do think that the offensive line concerns for both teams will be too much to overcome. And Russell Wilson ended up uh, having a procedure done on his throwing shoulder, got an injection to try to help out. The problem is he was already bad to begin with this season, and now he's having procedures midseason. I'm not exactly sold on Wilson performing well in this spot. Maybe decently, but I still have questions about the play calling and the overall offensive execution. So I do think at the end of the day, you will see a pretty ugly game of football. Now, if you don't have this prop available, you could potentially take the under 45 and a half But I think it is possible for both teams to get into the 20s. So maybe this game could find a way over. But I don't see either team getting to 30. I think you're going to end up seeing both coaches make a bunch of dumb decisions, whether it involves Hackett in the red zone, as Denver's been one of the worst red zone offenses in the entire league, or the Chargers who go forward on fourth down all the time. And Staley seems to never know when he should actually be taking points. So I think you'll end up seeing a game somewhere finish, finishing somewhere in the 
let's say low 40s, maybe high 30s. And I think you'll probably see the winning team get to 24 in this game. But 30 seems a little bit high, so I'm going to take the neither for this prop as a result. So play that once again here for Monday, October 17th. is going to be on race to 30 points and neither. Minus 145 in the Broncos-Chargers game. And until next time, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.